have like three different meals throughout the week. Three different meals that I can kind of go ahead and just substitute. And that helps me at least keep the flavor profile. I don't get bored of it a lot. What's the dough made of? What's the low carb maggot trick? Well, there isn't any, is there isn't any dough in a sense. There isn't any dough. We're actually going to be using like a, like a flatbread wrap, but it's packed with fiber. So in terms of the amount of carb output that is there, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty minimal. So it's like a, so it's like a flatbread, but you know, we make it as if it's like, as if it's like a pizza. And that's, what, and that's how we make it. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm going to be real with your chief. I'm not washing my carbs unless you count washing them go out my mouth. And that's okay, bro. That's okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a place, there's a time and place for everything, man. Whether you want like an actual pizza with all the carbs or not. There's a per time and place for everything, man. Sir K-Dub. What's good, bro? Thank you so much for the 22 months, my guy. How you doing, sir? Good to see you here. But yeah, it's, it's, honestly, like making this has been one of my favorite things to do in terms of um, when I was cutting down, like when I was cutting down, trying to lose body fat and stuff like that. And I still wanted pizza, but I just didn't want like a whole pizza just filled with a lot of carbs um, and fat and things that I couldn't control. So I was like, you know, what? let me go ahead and see what else I can make. And that's what I ended up doing. You cut out all carb snacks and garbage food dough. Good for you. Good for you. No candy for three months, no chips and stuff like that. You know, what? And that's good, man. That's good for you. Like, I'm not going to say like I cut out everything, but I always am very mindful of how much I'm having of something, right? Like I'm not uh, a proponent or a fan of trying to cut everything out because there may be just some things that I don't want to cut out, but I'm just very mindful about how much I'm consuming of something and how it is contributing overall to my, you know, to my intake for today, for the whole day. Had a real problem with junk food before, so you had to go cold turkey. You see, that's, and that's understandable, right? It's like sometimes people, they, have, they go completely cold turkey. Sometimes... They are able to, you know, just slowly dial things back and being able to have that type of control. And at the end of the day, it's whatever works for you, right? Whatever happens, whatever works for you is the main thing. You can't cut out carbs like pasta too much. Yeah, like I usually, I don't usually have like plain, like your usual regular pasta. Sometimes I do, but a lot of times like I'll have, there's like a protein pasta that, I, that from Barilla that they have. There's also like a chickpea pasta that's really awesome too that I like to have also. Um, Cause yeah, I like having, I like having those. And you know, that's, here's the thing, man. That's, that's exactly what I like to hear from people is the type of stuff that you're talking about, Swish, man. You feel great. That, that's, the, that's the main point, bro. As long as you feel great about how you look, about just inside overall, like you know, since your energy is up, you're not like sluggish or anything like that. Hey, more power to you, bro. Do your damn thing. Um, so one thing I'm gonna tell y'all right now, um, is something happened. Something happened yesterday that I wasn't really. Um, I wasn't really. Happy. Thank you, Amy. Something something happened yesterday that I wasn't really. I was completely shocked of. Um. So I went to I went to open my fridge. And you know what ended up happening, bro? You know what ended up happening? The the light in my fridge went out. And I'm thinking to myself, out of all the years that I've lived on this earth, right? All the years I've lived on this earth, I've never had a moment where the light in my fridge freaking went out, bro. I thought they were absolutely invincible. I thought they were invincible. I'm like, and I'm thinking to myself, like, wait, I'm like, did, I'm like, I'm like, did the button break? I'm like, did the, did the fridge break? I'm like, what's, I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? I was like, what the hell is happening here? And then it's like, no, like the, the bulb just, the bulb just died, man. I don't, I don't know what to freaking say. Demons? Something, something's going on. Oh, no. Hey, hi, hello. 
Thank you so much for the